Hello everyone, tonight I will be installing the software for the SDR Play RSP1 and I will time the process to see how long it, it takes to set it up and actually get it working. So let's start. I'm gonna plug the SDR Play into the computer, see what happens. Never was installed before on this computer as you probably heard Windows is looking for the driver somewhere okay I'm gonna start the timer to see how long it takes to make it work so let's go first download the software okay hold on a second uh, Windows sorry go here okay let's install SDR you know I'm not a robot. Start download. Okay, only 20 megs. That's not a lot. Let's start the installation. Yes, I do. Go. There you go. Okay. Okay, it is connected. So I will launch the software. Oh, I can see that the driver was installed here. So hold on a second. I'll do play. Oh, listen to this. Now we'll need to check up the input. Hold on a second. There you go. Oh, there you go. Which frequency it is. Okay, it is connected on my HF antenna right now. Hold on. And then I'm going to go to rx there you go let's try okay sorry it's got okay let's see to see if i can hear people right there okay hold on i'll need to go in lower sideband yeah i can hear something there sorry i need to go to check my input Yes, it's working. So hold on a second. I'll just look at the timer. Less than two minutes. Less than two minutes. Uh, I was able to download, install the software, plug and play. Is that incredible? That's a DX station. Okay, I need to, to set up where can I record something. Oh, record panel. Oh, there you go. Now, let's record. Okay. So now I'm recording. So I guess I will be able to save that file. I never used the software before. That is incredible. Less than two minutes. I was able to make it work. So this has nothing to do with the RTL SDR, I can say. Hold on. Sounds pretty good. Impressing. You see all the mode there. I don't know what is that. Oh, SAM. Okay, let's go to the broadcast. I'm using a 40 and 80 meter antenna, dipole antenna. So let's go try to go on to the broadcast. So hold on. Okay, I don't know how to work with it yet. Hold on. How can I? I never read. I didn't read the manual. I just went to it. Hold on. Okay, let's start again. Uh, okay, Irex. Okay, ah, I'm stuck in there. How can I change? Hold on a second. Okay, so it will help a lot. seems that I like uh, mm, I did something wrong uh, with my VFO hold on I'm stuck on something there uh, okay I can scroll and click oh, I can click on a signal there okay that's digital so I don't know 
since I do not know how to use the VFO. It's sure I cannot. <laughs> okay. What do I... Okay, I'm going to restart. I'm going to restart again the application. SDR. You know, this is me that need a training showing you how easy it is. Hold on, I didn't paste. Play. There you go. RX. Okay, now I'm back online. So I need to figure out what I did. So let's go into the broadcast. Let's go to... I'm just scrolling the, the mouse wheel. So that's how I'm changing it. If I go up, it goes down. If I goes down, it goes up. Maybe it's convertible. But for now, I'm just trying to change the frequency. It seems to work. Oops. Uh, oops. Ah. <laughs> okay. Remember, this is me that it's that I'm not used with the software. It took me two minutes, put it online, and that's it. So let's go in white FM. Okay. Hold on. Okay, hold on a second. Why? Why do I get this kind of noise? Oh. Hold on. Sorry, I didn't start the recording. Let's go. What I what I did wrong? Oh, I'm in LSB. I go to FM. Ha! Ah, there you go. As I can see, as you can see, didn't make take long so I can receive something. This is a lot of fun. For newcomers into radio. Oh. Sounds very good. Okay, so I won't stay too long there. Remember I'm on an HF antenna, which is a Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to HF. How can I do? I, g I go there? No? Ah, oh, if I click in there, I can type in the frequency. That's why I was stuck. 3 dot uh, 765. Let's try that. Press enter. Doesn't change. Okay, how do I do that? Okay, so let's go the old-fashioned way. The way I get... No time to learn right now. <laughs> Too excited. Okay. Okay, when I click and go there, press enter, come back. How do I change that? Oh. Oops. Okay. How do I make... Hold on, I'm gonna stop this. Okay, 80, okay, there you go. So you see, I need to get used to that. Oh, I need to go LSB. He got him. Oh, I'm going to record that. There you go. Sounds very good. So that's incredible. So that's it for the first video. So just to show you how quick I was using this device, how easy it was to set up. This is under Windows 10. And incredible view I, I guess I can uh, maybe adjust all the windows and set everything up if I click on this yeah I got a lot of windows that pops up hold on oh, I don't know what is this I don't know what is that okay so I need to do some reading for next so but you see it was easy for me to uh, to set it up I'm gonna stop it there you go so very very nice Okay, 
<laughs> I have to admit that I'm really impressed about this little box. It's easy to install, low cost, it's very good performance for the size of it as well, uh, probably because of the front end filtering, but also because it's a 12 bit uh, instead of what we see on cheaper SDR, which is 8 bit. So it's giving very good performance for the price. It's actually incredible. So definitely, I do recommend the SDR Play for those who are new to radio, for those who want to experiment with SDR, for those who want a pan adapter. Actually, owning this one, you won't regret it. This is a thing you need in your shack. I know this one is here to stay. Thanks SDR Play for making this available to us all. So 73 and I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned for more videos.